A loudspeaker emit a sound wave into a tube full of water. So this little friend up here is going to give out some sound waves. Let's send it down inside there. Uh, but what's happening here is an experiment about uh, sending waves in air columns. A tap at the bottom of the tube is open so that water slowly leaves the tube. So the water level is dropping. For some lengths, the sound heard is much louder. When you see this word much louder, they are talking about a stationary wave that form. Okay, so when you hear a loud sound, it's only a few times when you hear a loud sound, that's when a stationary wave is formed. So maybe it's full at first, we don't have a stationary wave. Okay, this is all the water. Then suddenly, when you drop to a certain level, wow, this is a bit big. You know, let me redraw that. Something like this. Okay, drop to a certain level. Suddenly, you can form a stationary wave. Now, this is what? This is the open, closed tube. The wave will reflect off the surface of the water and interfere with itself. So you get something like this. This is the fundamental frequency. It's kind of like half, sorry, quarter of a wavelength. This is how we usually draw it. Okay, so come down, go to node, go up. Okay, so this is our first stationary wave. But what's changing though? We continue to drop the water level and the next time a loud sound is heard is when the tube has length y. What is the wavelength of the sound from the speaker? Ooh, let's draw it out and see. Okay, so actually... I'll use this diagram here since they already have it. So the first loud sound is when you have half a wavelength right here. The second loud sound is also known as the second stationary wave, is when you have added or squeezed in another half a wavelength. Now these loops are we call half a wavelength. So if you squeeze in half a wavelength, it's going to look like this. Now you have a node, node, Antinode and antinode. There. That's what we call it. So how do we write out this thing? What, how do you find the wavelength? This will be the key right here. Between the first and the second, there will be half a wavelength difference. Okay, so this right here is half a wavelength. Ah, so you can come up with the identity now. So the half of a wavelength distance or length is the length of y minus the length of x. So what will lambda be? Lambda will then be 2 times y minus x. Is there a choice there? 2 times y minus x? Yep, this one. Okay, so if you're saying, Miss, why can't x be half a wavelength? No, this is quarter of a wavelength. Okay, so half a wavelength, half of wavelength is one loop, which means your this part, yeah, let me use this one, Okay, this is only a quarter of a wavelength, lambda over 4. It's right, a small little one. Okay, so this is what we call loops. So make sure you can recognize the patterns, how the patterns change, what is half a wavelength, what is a quarter of a wavelength, and you can get to this answer right here. Okay, so that's all for this question. See you in the next one.